All right, thank you. A shocking quarterfinal Saturday at the World Junior Hockey Championship. And boy, to be Russian, after what they went through last year in Ottawa, thinking they were on their way to the gold medal game, Jordan Everly scores, Canada wins it in the shootout. Almost the identical situation here where the Swiss tied a little more time left on the clock and win it with just a few seconds left in overtime. And so I guess for Canada... It's pretty simple. Toss out the scouting reports on the Russians, and what's the scouting report on the Swiss? Well, obviously, they've got two players that you need to worry about, but first off, what an amazing performance by the Swiss. When you think about it, they were missing two of their top defensemen, or their two top defensemen, both Olympians for Vancouver in 10, 2010. Roman Yossi and Lucas Abiza not in the lineup because of injuries, but they have Nino Niederreiter, and we talked about this guy all through the tournament, a member of the Portland Winterhawks of the Western Hockey League. He has an exceptional chance to be the highest drafted Swiss player in any history could go much higher than Michelle Reason, 14th overall, and we've been glowing, talking in glowing terms about this guy all the way through the tournament and for obvious reasons. He's got great one-on-one -on -one skills, but his defensive play, he stepped up in this game and did a lot of really good things, and he is the straw that stirs the drink offensively. He's one of those players, every time he steps on the ice for the Swiss, you almost come out of your seat a little bit because you sense that this guy, this underage player who wears a cage in this tournament, is ready to do something, to get the, the puck on the tying goal, to get the puck for the winning goal and to do the things that he did over the course of this tournament absolutely amazing for the swiss and full credit to him because it, you know you, you're all, you almost think you're like you're playing by yourself with some of the injuries that they've got here el nino and they were chanting his name by the way in this building i've never heard a canadian crowd cheer harder for a non-canadian team i don't know if that was cheering for the swiss cheering against the russians whatever it was uh, they were thrilled with the outcome it would be easy for canadian fans to say oh this is going to be simple that we beat the swiss six nothing last game but that goaltender can turn around a game. Absolutely. Benjamin Kahn's has been exceptional in this tournament. He was exceptional in the game against the Russians. 52 shots on goal. And this is the guy that can steal a game. And he went a long way towards doing that for the Swiss in this one. He's a big guy. Doesn't seem like he has to move particularly well. Gord Miller and Pierre Maguire have talked at length about his similarities to John Sebastian Chaguerre from the Francois Lair School of Goaltending. And he's a big guy who gets down, takes away the bottom of the net. If you're going to beat him, you've got to beat him upstairs. But he was terrific in some great one-on-one -on -one battles with some really skilled Russian forwards. Kahn's did the job. So the Swiss have Kahn's at one end. They've got Niederreiter at the other end. They're missing their two best defensemen. Wow. But throw out the scouting report, as you said, James, and the Swiss have got some magic. The big, the, the big problem for the Swiss here could be that that might be their gold medal. And right. they've got to make sure their emotional level can come back up against Canada. A Canada 17-0 all time against the Swiss. What's Shania Twain going to do? Canadian lives in Switzerland. Torn. Go to the under-17s in Timmins? I don't know. <laughs> I think she'll be okay and probably rooting for Canada as we send it back to Sports Center.